Hello, Megan. I thought that was you. <laughs> what Robert and I really wanted to maintain is that this is a show about people fighting demons, and the Megan Donnie story is one of the most terrifying stories that we tell, and there's nothing supernatural about it. Donnie Hamill, Megan and I go way back. This guy comes into the town and has the audacity to just come up and shake hands with Mark. How'd you know that I was a police officer? Nah, Facebook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's scary to think about how our shit's out there for everyone to see, huh? Donnie terrorized her when she was younger, and I think she felt like she escaped that. And what she's realizing in episode four is it's just as present as it ever was. Megan used to always say that a night on a big white stein was going to come and carry her away someday. <laughs> you remember that, Megan? Megan's a talker, so when she sees Donnie, she can barely speak, and she feels like she doesn't have any control. You look great, and it was a pleasure to meet you, sir. She's always been very kind of tight-lipped about it, because I think for her, even saying the words out loud mean that it's true. How much did she tell you? He abused her. When I found out what he was doing, I couldn't, couldn't fight back and win or nothing. I could get in the way, take a beating. Kyle sees himself as the protector of, of the family and of the things that he loves and cares about and considers the past with Donnie and Megan with a lot of gravity. Enough for him to just snap on sight. He's always tried to be Megan's protector. Tried and failed. Straight down, don't! Kyle definitely has like a temper. Seeing that come out of him is important. I was trying to play the guardian angel. Haven't you figured out they don't exist? Megan decides it's not over, and she's like, I have an opportunity to finish this. She's taking back the power. Megan showing up at his hotel, in a way, Donnie starts to feel validated in the worst possible way. Ask yourself why you're here, in my hotel room, all by yourself. Maybe I do haunt you. Mark, when he's confronted with Donnie and who he is and what he has done and what he's done to Mark's family, he takes matters into his own hands. Mark, this is a bad idea. That comeuppance, there's a little bit of the audience that is going, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Mark Steeman comes out. We're gonna see the repercussions of that action.